This video outlines how to deposit your thesis to QSpace Queen's Research Repository. As a requirement of degree completion and to maximize exposure of your research, you must submit a final revised and approved thesis to QSpace. Be sure that you are familiar with the guidelines on the School of Graduate Studies website. To get started, go to qspace.library.queensu.ca and click on My Account, then My QSpace to log in with your Queen's NetID and password. Click Start a New Submission, then from the Collection drop-down menu, choose Queen's Theses and Dissertations. This will bring you to Licensing Information. When you deposit your thesis to QSpace, Queen's will also deposit on your behalf to two locations. The first is Library Archives Canada, the National Archive of Canadian Graduate Theses and Dissertations. The second location is ProQuest Dissertations and Theses, which is a collection of theses from around the world. To continue, all boxes must be checked. Be sure that you understand the licensing agreement that pertains to these checked boxes. Next, you may choose the Creative Commons licensing for your thesis. This step is optional and you may skip Creative Commons to proceed if you wish. See the links in Step 1 for details on the six options of Creative Commons licensing. All require attribution, meaning to use the work, one must give credit to you for the original creation. Step 2 allows you to indicate the type of Creative Commons licensing you wish to apply. This will be noted on the submission record of your thesis. Moving on, Step 3 indicates instructions to manually add the Creative Commons license to the thesis document or how to download the add-in from Microsoft Office. Click the links for further instruction. When you are satisfied with the Creative Commons licensing, press Next. If you wish to put a restriction on your thesis content, you may do so. This will be applicable for up to five years after the deposit to QSpace, then the public will have access to it. If you do not restrict your thesis, it will be available to the public in approximately one to two weeks' time. You can view the thesis restriction notice for further detail. When a restriction is placed on your thesis, the author, title, and abstract, also known as the metadata, will remain visible. Check the box to indicate a restriction and enter a reason into the text box. Moving on, enter the citation data, including your name, thesis title, and language of the thesis. The type will remain thesis. Proceed to enter keywords that will aid in the search of your thesis. Effective keywords outline the main purpose and themes of the thesis. Now, enter the abstract that you've already created by copying and pasting into the box. The next step is to upload the document file. Be sure the document is a PDF. You can refer to the information on the School of Graduate Studies website for exact specifications. Be sure to save the thesis document using the required file naming convention. Verify that the file and information is correct. You may make changes to any section of the submission. Fill in the submission form with your name, address, department, degree, and supervisor information. If you would like paper copies, indicate this here. You may now complete your submission by clicking Next. Thank you for watching.